everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome so today we are doing kind of like my go-to valentine's day look because it's almost valentine's day and i thought i would do like a little simple look of what i would do if i was going anywhere um i'm going to be working and number two i don't really care for valentine's day i i'm in a i've been married for five years happily married been together with my husband for 10 years now and i feel like Valentine's Day is just another day in all honesty I think it's great for like people who are new in their relationships or kind of just <laughs> still like proper vibing but I'm just kind of like I love you every day I'm just gonna get on with it we show our appreciation every day um, and I just thought you know what let me just do a makeup look as to like what I would wear if we were going somewhere so I've got like some of my favorite things here that would make me kind of excited to like do my makeup because I feel like sometimes when I put on my makeup I am just doing it for like the sake of it but I feel like today it would be like excitement and just kind of like feeling beautiful so I haven't put on a primer but I have put on a moisturizer because my skin is like super duper dry at the moment and super sensitive as you can see but this is a really old product by Beauty Crop and this is the vitamin C gel moisturizer so I actually put it on before I started filming so it could settle in so now that I settle in we're gonna go on to my brows so I'm going in with my Melt Cosmetics Max Hold brow gel well, this is a clear brow gel and this one it looks weird honestly if you've seen it before it, the gel itself looks a bit questionable but I still use it because it's pretty good I mean I have so many brow gels and my brows are a complete mess the last time I got them done was in November when it was like my birthday I think and I was like I treat myself but then I haven't really used them haven't got them done since because I just don't really care for my brows they're just so mad um, and I probably will get them done soon but I'm in no rush but yeah this gel is a bit um, <laughs> it's a bit questionable but it's still a really nice brow gel I got it part of a mystery box um, that Melt Cosmetics did and yeah the, Melt, the mystery box was amazing because it had so many things in there that I have not tried before and obviously this being one of them so I'm gonna let that settle in so let's go on to kind of foundation so I'm going in with my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin so this is a serum as opposed to um, a foundation and it's good for kind of like a buildable coverage so if I wasn't so red <laughs> I would go in with like a fuller coverage but I don't want anything too heavy because I feel like the weather is getting a bit warmer and I don't want anything like too heavy on my skin I just want to be able to kind of like be comfortable with makeup on so I have the shade number two and I've learned from previous purchases of Danessa Myrick to not go too light because if I go too light I will look basically the same shape as my wall so I'm gonna go in with this and just blend it in I might have to use a sponge because I feel like when I use a brush there's certain brushes that really work for this serum and some that don't I don't think this will work very well um, but yeah I'm gonna go in with my sponge and we're just gonna get this on this on again it's not full full coverage I think with this serum it's very buildable so you can make it as light as you can or as kind of layered as you want and I don't think it looks cakey as well so let's go on to concealer because we definitely need it um, I'm going in with the Catrice True Skin and I still haven't picked up the foundation yet I'm s I don't know why I'm so annoying I really want to get it so much and it's it's on the just my look website which I speak about all the time so if you ever want to try um, new stuff by Catrice or by Essence they will most likely get it on just my look and it will be like I think it's like free shipping over £10 so that's pretty good and then you can also yeah they always have like discounts and stuff so I really really like just my look and they ship really quickly so you can get something like super quick as well but yeah Catrice is a brand that I always want to try more of and this concealer is super duper nice it's so like comfortable on the skin and there's so many different shades I've got the shade number two um neutral ivory so it's kind of like not too light but it's like it's, it's good enough for like my skin tone you can add just like 
a bit just to add a bit more coverage so I'm like I've got some sensitivity here and here and it's covered it quite well like if I stand back a bit you could just about see it but if I'm a bit closer <laughs> it's obviously quite obvious so let's go into bronzer because I'm looking a bit pale like I'm kind of blending in with the wall so I'm gonna go in with my MUA bronzed in the shade butterscotch so this is one of my favorite bronzers ever it's so affordable it's so just easy to use and I feel like you can sculpt out really easily like for someone who is not confident in that at all I feel like when I use this and when I use a couple other ones as well like the revolution one they blend out so well and they're both like six pounds and I feel like anyway are coming out with so many good products I really want to try their eyeshadow palette which is like their matte palette I think it's like 12 pounds which is a bit more higher than what MUA do but because I think it's like 20 shades or something like that um, I think it's definitely worth a try so I will definitely have to pick that up soon because I really want to try it but you can see how easily this is blending out and it's not um, too heavy and there's so many different shades that you can get so I really feel like this is a good um, like affordable version so let's go on to blush so this is one that I've been enjoying quite a lot and it's the dollhouse cosmetics blush potion in the shade is it dragon fire i think so it's something like that yeah because um why is the name so hard to find <laughs> dragon fire at the bottom um yeah i've been loving this formula so much it's so red and so pigmented you only need the tiniest amount but when i say tiny for me that's like most of the bottle <laughs> I'm joking um yeah you can see this glow is just oh, it's stunning and they have quite a few shades as well so i always go for a more redder tone because i feel like for me i want my cheeks to be popping even though yes i have rosacea and i have very pigmented skin that shouldn't stop me from enjoying a bit of blush so i'm just adding a tiny bit more because why the hell not Okay, so let's go on to a highlighter. So this is a highlighter that I think is just so good, Rare Beauty. This is just one that makes me so happy every time I use it because it is absolutely stunning. And I got the shade Exhilarate. And I really want to pick up more, but I just feel like I'd rather try more by her brand than just pick up the same thing again and again whenever she does release new things. I really want to try her clear brow gel, but I don't think you can get it in Space and You can get it on Space and K online, but not in store. And I really want to see like how big it is before I buy it. But um, yeah, this is just, oh, yes. This is one of the best highlighters I've ever used. It's so just stunning. And so many people praise this and that's for good reason. So I'm just going to go into my Urban Decay Potion because I want my makeup to last a little bit longer than normal and then we'll get onto the eyes. Okay, now that my primer is on, I'm gonna go in with my Cosmic Brushes um, Royal Rose Palette. So this, I think you can still get this. I'm not 100% sure, but I love this palette so much. It's just all the colors that I absolutely enjoy. And I feel like today this would be the perfect aesthetic for something quite romantic, if you say. Um, so I'm gonna go in with some of the usual shades that I go in because I'm not original at all. Um, I'm gonna go in with Flawless just here. And that's kind of like a reddish brown tone. I'm gonna take a tiny amount, I don't want too much. And I'm just gonna tap and blend. And then next we're gonna go in with Royal just here. And I'm gonna take that in my crease and just kind of build it up to make it look a bit deeper. Okay, so now let's go in with a bit of a deeper shade so we can kind of make it a bit more oomphy, um, if that makes any sense. Um, we're gonna go in with Romance, just here. So it's kind of like a brownish purple. So I'm gonna put that here to make it kind of like the edge so it's not so just like red okay, I think that's looking nice so far I think it's a bit messy <laughs> on this side which is nothing new but I will blend um, everything out towards the end so I'm actually going to end on a shimmer and I feel like going in with 
um, oh dear, it should go in my Royal Rose just here. So that's like a popping shimmer and I'm going to put champagne maybe on my inner corner. Um, let's see if I can use a brush first. If not, then I will go in with my finger because I feel like that might be better. Yeah, let's just, yeah. Oh, much better. Okay, so let's go in with champagne, just in the corner. So that's going to be my inner corner. And always it will pop. I mean, this shade I've used a few times and it is so stunning. I feel, I hope you can still get this palette. I don't know if it's like limited or I know it's one of their older palettes because I remember when I first started getting into cosmic brushes, this is, had just gone on like a sale. So I think it might be a bit of an older one, but you know what? All of their palettes that I've tried, there's only one that I haven't, no, there's two that I haven't tried, which is like their pastel one. And their, the last one that they came out with, which was like the Christmas one, um, the blue one. I do want to get it, but I'm in no like massive brush. But this was just a really quick look, nothing too crazy. I'm going to go in with eyeliner. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Epic Liner because it's so freaking good. And it lasts like all day. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a nice little wing. Okay, so that unintentionally went massive like I did not intend for it to be this big um, yeah I'm an idiot I didn't actually realize um, how big that wing is I did not want it to be that big that's fine I'm gonna end on the lips now so I'm gonna go in with my MUA put lip pencil um, in the shade agenda because we're gonna end on a red lip of course pencil is freaking amazing it's like one pound fifty two pounds and it's MUA as well so freaking good so yeah lipstick we're going in with the new Charlotte Tilbury matte lipstick in the shade pizzazz I recently did like a first impressions video when I use this and it is stunning and it's just like right up my street so let's get this on okay and this is my finished look so obviously I would be wearing nicer clothes because I don't want to go out looking like I've just rolled out of bed, um, which I haven't by the way. Um, but yeah, I think this is a little bit dramatic, it, mainly because of the eyeliner. I didn't want it to go that big because I it was a mistake, but I feel like everything is looking nice. I do look slightly drag queenish, not intentional, um, but yeah, I quite like it. I mean, again, it's all products that I really like using and that I enjoy using and I feel like that's how makeup should make us feel, just feel like really happy. But, um, yeah, if you celebrate Valentine's Day, don't celebrate it, you don't give a shit, then good good for you. Like, I hope you have a wonderful day regardless of what you're doing. Um, I'm going to be working, so that, that's great. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. hope you have enjoyed this type of video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there and you get to have a closer look of any of the looks that I do and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. <music>